I'm going to be doing a haul today, and I don't have a ton of stuff to show you. Um, one, because I didn't want to make a huge video, and I wanted to split it up some, but um, it's more of just my recent shopping trip from today and then yesterday at the mall. And actually, I'm wearing one of the things right now, which is this, like, necklace. One of the things I don't like about it, though, is look at all, like, there's too much beading here, um, and they kind of get stuck on each other. But the color is so cute. It's a mint, um, like a mint blue, which obviously is really nice for the summertime and spring. Um, but it's also only $7, $7.99 at Rue 21, which, oh my gosh, it's bothering me so much. When it's laying perfectly flat, it looks really cute. But like the second I start walking or really doing anything, um, it starts to get back to this. Which means I probably won't wear it too often. <laughs> Uh-oh. But yeah, it's like a mint blue and it's really, really pretty. And I know I wore this jacket before um, in my previous videos, but it's just a blazer. And this is actually what I wore to work. Um, so it's just like this frilly tank top from, um, was that Hollister? And then I'm just wearing this jacket over it. I didn't want to take it off because then I was going to blend right into the background, so I kept it on. The first place that I went yesterday was Charlotte Rouge, or Charlotte Rouge Day. I think it's Charlotte Rouge, Rouge. Um, possibly. I asked one of my friends because she worked there and um, she told me how to say it and I just can't remember anymore. But I didn't expect to buy anything from there because normally I don't really like, um, like their clothing. I feel like it's a little bit cheap. But every once in a while I find something really nice and, um, ugh. and I've been really looking for a blouse that has cutouts in the back and this doesn't have, this one that I got doesn't have huge cutouts but enough for me to like it. So it's a really cute polka dot blouse and it's a little bit shorter in the front and long in the back but look at the back of this. See the cutouts right there? Like I said they're not big but they're just enough for me to be like that I need it and then it has this really cute lace detail the only thing I don't like about this blouse is that um, the sleeves have banding on it which isn't like a huge deal but I think I would prefer to having a normal um, button closure not a big deal though so that's the first thing and this was $24.99 and I saw in the store, I said text FAB to get $5, $10, or a nail polish when you spend $30. And I got $5 off, so it helped a little bit. Uh, the next thing I got, and their jewelry is all, where most of it is two for $10. And it says on it if it is part of it. See that two for 10 right there? So I got this coral um, beaded necklace. It's a little longer than I thought it was going to be, but I think it's still going to be really cute for summer. And wear it like dresses and whatnot. I put it on today and it didn't look good like with my outfit. I think it's because I have the blazer on. Oh, and that was, well, $5, but it was originally, um, I think, 8 No, it was originally $6. It was really cheap. Okay, and then the second piece I got with it is a pair of earrings. Look how cute those are. They actually would have looked nice with my outfit today had I not worn this mint necklace. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, this was $5 too, but it's originally 6 just like the necklace. And they're not too heavy either. I hate heavy earrings, so um, if you're like me and you just don't like them weighing down, it's not like really light. They actually feel pretty... Um, hefty like they're not going to break very easily but they aren't so weighted that like it makes your ears uncomfortable. That is all I got from Charlotte Rouge um and then I went to Rue 21. I did not expect to go in there um, and find anything but I did and I will show you. Okay so I guess I'm really into blouses all of a sudden um because I've been buying them non-stop but I got this mint um little blouse right here and the back of it is um, lined with lace and it goes all the way down the sleeve right there. And then it has the button closure with the lace on it, which I really liked. 
and this is $21.99 and it also came so you wrap around a belt and it has um, brown on one side and black on the other so depending like what colors you want to wear you can switch it which is really nice like the belt isn't that great of um, quality but I'm still gonna wear it because it actually didn't look bad and I looked for it online and I couldn't find it so I was gonna link it below um, same with the polka dot blouse. Actually, I might have found that one, so I guess if it's below, I found it. Uh, but this I didn't find, so maybe if you check like in the store itself, they might still have it. They had a really pretty coral one too, which I'm going to go back and get it because when I bought that, they gave me a $20 off a $40 purchase for starting tomorrow, so hopefully they have my size when I go. And then I was at the checkout line and she was like, oh, um, do you want to add a perfume for $9.99? I was like, oh, no thanks. <laughs> but then my friend who was with me started spraying it and it smelled so good. So I bought, it's called Etc. Yeah, Rue 21 Etc. Perfume. <laughs> the box is like completely sparkled out. Uh, and this is what it actually looks like. Visually, it's not very pleasing with this blue etc. on the bottle, but um, the rest of the bottle, which out, without the blue on it, it's super like girly. It has diamonds all on here, and um, it doesn't come with a cap, which is weird. It comes with this little ruffle thing, which you take on and off of it, which prevents it from spraying. Which I guess it has the same idea. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna try to describe this the best I can. I'm not really great with descriptive words. Uh, I proved that to myself last night because there's this blind kid in one of my classes and he always asks me to like describe the movies as I go. Um, not the movies, like the video clips that the teacher shows as like we're watching them and like I'll be sitting there and I'm trying to think of, I don't know, anything to describe it a little more in detail than saying, oh, the guy is holding something in front of the lady's face but um I'm awful at it so I'm not gonna be great at um describing the scent of this either but from what I've been smelling it's like a like a fruit punch with a lemonade kind of scent with it um it actually like one of the words that makes like rings into my head is it reminds me of like glitter and sugar and lemonade pink lemonade I don't know if it's pink that I'm smelling that it's so good though if you like fruit like fragrances you are going to love this and it's $9.99 so I'm definitely going to be buying it when I go in next time with my 20 off 40 spray it on myself again and it actually lasts really well like I went to work for four hours and I went to school for another hour and a half and even when I was at school, I was still getting, like, whiffs of the perfume, and it just, mm, just melts my little heart. So, if you guys watch 11th Gorgeous, like me, um, you know that I think it was Tracy that wore this in one of her videos. They actually both might have, but um, I got a scarf from Rue21, which they also have. It was only $7.99. That is super cheap. And um, it's very springtime-like, because it's really, really thin. So you can see my hand through it right there. Um, it's just so nice and it's like at a really good length on your neck. I definitely suggest you guys going to Rue 21 and checking out their scarves because they had a lot of them that I wanted. But that's all I got from there. And then I just went to CVS and I wanted to show you a few things I got. First I got just a nail polish remover because I needed one of these where I could just stick my fingers in it without um getting all of my other nails messed up so I bought one of the little spongy sticker things um, hopefully it works I think that was only $3.19 and then Revlon at C this is all at CVS I don't know if I said that but Revlon was having a buy one get one half off sale so let me show you what I got okay so I haven't tried this yet but I got um, Revlon Color Stay for combination and oily skin and it's just a uh, what do you call that foundation um we'll see how it turns out my skin I want to get a little bit darker one because I've been tanning to try to um get rid of my ghostly shine on me but um 
I don't know if that will ever happen. So I did buy this. If anything, if it's too dark, well one, I can return it, or two, I can mix it with my foundations that are way too light. So I'll blend it in to see what I can um, conjure up. Um, and then I also, for the half off item, I bought Revlon Color Stay Aqua Mineral Finishing Powder. Um, I've actually never heard anything about this. I don't know if it's going to be great or not, but I'll let you guys know. Hopefully it will just like set everything in and just make me look very nice. <laughs> and then when I was in the nail polish um, section, I picked up an Essie and it was like a mauveish purple color. And I was on my way to the checkout and then I saw this display of nail polishes for $1.99 called Spoiled. And I found the color exactly like the Essie one that was in my hand. It was literally not even like half a shade off. So I put the Essie one down. And um, I didn't put it down until after I went through a couple of these nail polishes to see what the formula is like. Um, and it had almost the same consistency of... Um, consistency? Consistency of the Essie ones. And um, so I definitely just bought the $1.99 ones instead. So this is just a mauveish brown color. And... Um, it's really pretty. I really wanted one of these type of colors to wear. And my nail polish is awful right now. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I mean, I love the colors like a lavender, but um, it's been chipping really bad. And then I got um, another spoiled, I don't like that name, spoiled nail polish. And this is in the color, uh, doesn't tell me. Oh, d oh gosh. Okay, sorry. This right here, the purple one, is in the color Steal the Show. And then I got this mustard one in the color Designated Driver. That's coming out in the mustardy because I always say, like, hopefully it's going to come out the right color, and it normally does. But, like, in right here in the moment, it's looking bright yellow. But it's like a mustard like a yellow dark mustard color um not so neon like I had like two other things to talk about and the first was um it's what I'm wearing right now and I've been wearing it actually this whole month it's the Garnier Skin Renew Miracle um skin perfecting BB cream and the light medium at first it was too dark for me and I had to mix it with my lighter concealers but um after I started getting in the sun and like tanning more, um, actually I wasn't getting in the sun because it's not warm enough to do that, but tanning, uh, it's perfect now and I like it a lot and it's, um, actually a really good, um, coverage. Well, it's like medium coverage and I do have acne, it still shows a little tiny bit, but, um, I tested out the BB cream from Too Faced. It is awful compared to this. Literally, this is like a thousand times better and half the price. The um, Too Faced BB Cream is a very, very sheer coverage, and and I put on the shade that was a little too dark for me, too, and, like, everything showed up. Like, you didn't fix anything, so I don't suggest Too Faced BB Cream if you guys are in the market for one. Um, I definitely suggest you trying out Garnier. The only problem I have with it is that it doesn't have enough shades for everyone. It goes light, medium, and then medium, dark, so there's only two shades, and that is it. So... You're either going to have to mix stuff with it or just go with how it is. I don't know. Either way, or use bronzer. That will work too. Okay, and the next, um, well, the last thing I got, I bought it and it was at 40% off at Ulta. But it's the NYX Shine Killer. I used it. The first time I used it, I fell in love. Like, it worked so well. Like, it matted my whole face, like, all day because I worked. I think eight or nine hours a day and I was still matte by the time I left um, then I used it the next day and I was oily like an hour later and then I'm using it today and like you can see oil on my face I haven't used any oil blotters today so this is truly like what my face looks like um one two three four five like six hours later so oh my face is like at a seven on a scale of one to ten ten is what it normally is seven's what it's at right now and I honestly wish it was a little bit less oil. I mean, you can see my shine. Like, it's not to the point where, like, sometimes it will get, like, if you touch my face, like, everything will just come off. But, um, it's still oil enough for me not to be happy, so. Uh, maybe it just depends. I don't know. I really don't understand why it worked one day and not the other. Maybe, 
maybe I just need to use more of it. And it's, I've been using the BB cream, so it's not like, oh, it's my foundation's fault. I have no idea. I'm going to keep using it for the rest of the week. Um, if it honestly doesn't work by the end of the week, I'm going to return it because they even told me, like, I was all through, like, literally just return it if it's not, um, what you thought it was going to be. And I've never actually returned a makeup item, so, um, we'll see what happens. I might check it out and just not return it because I think that's a little weird returning makeup items, but when they're, well, the NYX wasn't expensive, but if it had been, like, a, like a $30 shine killer, then I probably would return it, so... I guess it just depends on the price but wow my video is getting way too long so I'm gonna go before I start rambling on again and um I joined little black bag and I'm actually in the process of still trading with people so I'm so excited once it actually ships and I can show you and talk about it and um uh, I just have so much to say and I love it and I love you guys and I'm gonna go so I will see you guys next time bye